y'all. I talk to kids a lot, but I want this, it feel great coming to speak to y'all kids because Coach Mark Gerald really impacted my life. I remember when I got out of high school, um, I, I, my grades wasn't all set up, so I had to go to Fort Union Military Academy. And just so happened, Coach Gerald's son, Gerard, was also going to Fort Union. And from Marlboro County to Fort Union, where our parents really didn't have a lot of money, it was a far away place, and Coach Drew used to drive us up there. Um, he used to come pick us up on a Friday when we was at Fort Union, and then bring us back on a Sunday, just so we could be home a date on that Saturday. And that, that was really important. That, that, that showed a lot of courage and heart that he really cared about us and really wanted us to be happy doing what we do. Um, another thing is, one thing Coach Gerald told me before he passed away was we was texting. And, uh, and I asked him, I said, Coach, what mark do you want to leave when, when it's your time to leave this earth? He said, Tamir, all I want is people to tell my kids that I helped them get where they wanted to be. And I'm one of those kids. And for me to you, you can be the same way. You don't have to be an older person to lead kids to doing the right thing. How many of y'all be in the classroom you have a friend that talk a lot in the classroom? The way you can lead that person is not being mean to them, but tell them, pay attention. Look at the board, get your work. You can be a leader that way, starting now. Because believe it or not, um, they, they look up to you just as much as they look up to people or me and Mr. Sellers. Y'all kids, y'all just got to be there and um, do the right thing. Um, like you said, uh, I finished high school at Marlboro High School. I was rated the number two receiver in the nation. The nation. Everything going good. Um, my, high school, my senior year in high school, we won a state championship in basketball. And um, I remember when we won a state championship in basketball, I was thinking like, man, that's like the greatest feeling in the world. That's the greatest feeling in the world. But I remember um, right after we won a state championship in basketball, that's when I had to go get my SAT score. And my SAT score came back, and it was like I didn't get the score. So that's what made me have to enroll in Fort Union. Well, I went to Fort Union Military Academy. For a whole year, me and Coach Gerald, son Gerard, I passed my test, and when we got back, finished with that, they was telling me um, I was uh, supposed to report to Clemson University on June, it was the June, June 6th, I had to report June 6th to start summer school. I get a phone call, the NCAA is not going to clear you. So easily, they told me I couldn't get into Clemson at that time. Easily, I could have shut down and just quit. But life, is going to be a lot of deals in life where you're going to feel like you want to fold. But you got to keep going because it's somebody always watching. How many of y'all got a little brother or a little sister? How many of y'all, every time you do something, your little brother and sister following you, you be like, get out of the way. Come on, y'all do that a lot? Well, think about this. Everything that you do from now in the classroom, that little brother or little sister going to look up to you. So if you bring bad grades home, we think they're going to think they're going to want to do. Bring bad grades If you're doing good, what are they going to want to do? How many of y'all like It's 24 hours in a day. What you do in those 24 hours would be what you be in life. The time, what you spend the most time doing is what you're going to be doing. If you want to be the best basketball player, if you finish your homework, do everything you want to do, if you go out there and work on basketball every day, you can be the best basketball player you can be. But you can't just pick the basketball up when it's time for tryouts or when it's time for you to go in the gym. You just got to do it outside of that. That's why people that make great grades, because they study outside of school. So that's what you got to shoot for. That's the thing.